Okay, so very good evening to all of you. Uh, welcome to the IIT and Gate classes. In this particular session, uh, we are coming with uh, one more job notifications. That is uh, the, the recent vacancy that is being released uh, from Bharat Dynamics Limited (BDL). Right, uh, the head office of BDL is Hyderabad, Kanchenjunga, and this is coming under the Ministry of Defence. Now coming back to here, uh, the notifications and the detailed notification we will say, but what are all the sort points regarding this uh, vacancies that we will discuss in this particular video. So here you can see the outlines of this video, like we will discuss the vacancy detail for the respective branches, mechanical, electronics, electrical, computer science, and chemical and civil. So these are the branches we have the uh, vacancies. Of course, we have some other vacancies also related to finance and all, but that is of uh, you know uh, that is of less uses for us. Now, coming to second point, that is the eligibility, right? What are all the educational qualifications, right, are required for the respective uh, post of management trading? What is the age limit? What are all the important dates? Then, what is the recruitment process or selection process? Then what? Uh, what are all the test centers, right? A very important application fees. Then I will discuss the cutoff analysis. I have the data of uh, all the branches uh, regarding the BDL 2022 and BDL 2021 examinations, right? So we will discuss the cutoff analysis of both the papers, 2022 and 2021, right? Now coming back to number of vacancies. The number of vacancies that we have released through this 2023 uh, notifications, we have MT that is management training, electronics, 15 vacancies. In that you can see the you know out of the 15 vacancy, one vacancy reserve for PWBD LD, right? And then for mechanical we have the 12 vacancies, right? Electrical we have the four vacancies, computer science one, cyber security two, chemical two, civil. Uh, two, one second, and business development, again, in the business development, uh, the other engineering disciplines along with the MBA students are also applicable. So one vacancy you can add there also. And then empty optics, then management training in finance. So total 42 vacancies released for the grade two post. Again, we have the another post for the grade one, uh, that is like a welfare officer and public relations, but that is of no use for us, right? Again, in the scaling of pay, that is 40k basic is there, right? And uh, separately, we will discuss some part of the salary also. Approxim uh, approximate CTC per annum will be 12.21 lakhs. Now, one year training will be there. So you will be empty for one year. Then, like you will be empty for one year. You will be doing as empty. Then you will be promoted to assistant management uh, manager. After completion of training, you will be absorbed as an assistant manager, right? So these are the detailing of vacancies, right? Now let's see what are all the branches are applicable. Those who are holding the degrees in uh, respective branch, they are applicable or not, right? So let's see about that. So again, qualification requirement. I think vacancy detail is quite clear that we have highest number of vacancy for electronics, 15, mechanical 12, right? Coming back to here, uh, essential qualifications for electronics, you should have first class bachelor's degree or five year integrated course. If you have, if you have done BTEC plus MTEC, that is a five year integrated course, you are also applicable for this particular management training post, right? In BDA. And, or if you have the uh, obtain the degree in engineering or technologies in the discipline of electronics or equivalent courses this is important here let me mark it either you should have a compulsory or essential qualification in electronics degree you should have be or be taken electronics or equivalent courses equivalent courses from a recognized university or institute now, what are all the equivalent courses? Again, you can see equivalent courses along with the essential qualification you should have in mechanical. Again, equivalent courses, they are also applicable. 
what are all the equivalent courses we will see separately now here also you will see equivalent courses apart from having the degree in electrical some other branches are also applicable but we will see separately or what are all the branches they are applicable right it's not like for electrical course only electrical people can apply of course you should have essential qualification degree in uh, electrical or equivalent courses if, if you have you can also apply for this MT electrical post we will discuss again you should have equivalent courses for the computer science also we will discuss separately right now for MT uh, in cyber security either you should have computer science or you should have a degree in cyber security and one more important thing if you are applying for cyber security like uh, the vacancy we have seen for the cyber security was uh, two vacancies for those two vacancies my different you should have uh, not only obtained degree either in computer science or cyber security but you should have certification courses in any of these following uh, particularly you know a course that is certified ethical hacker from ec council certified certified information system security professional uh, right from ISC2, then certification information security management from IC, ISACA. Those are all the uh, requirements of certification along with this BTEC or B degree in computer science or cyber security. Right. Again, for chemical, you should have degree in chemical or equivalent course. We will discuss the equivalent course. Or if you have first class in MSc, if you done, uh, if you have done the chem. Uh, uh, MSc in chemistry from recognized university or institute, you can also apply for this MT chemical post. It's not that you should have degree or B B Tech in chemical, right? For civil, if any civil degree holder candidates are there, they can also apply or equivalent. What are all those equivalent? We will discuss. For business development, that this is what I was talking about. With the one vacancy which I shown earlier. The first class in two years MBA specializations in marketing, a postgraduate degree with the you know marketing and sales uh, specializations, they can also apply not only the, uh, those candidates but the candidates who are having the degree in mechanical, electrical, electronics, electronics and communications, electronics and instrumentations, industrial electronics and production. Very important for production guys, right? Uh, right. So they can also apply for this one vacancy. Although vacancy is less, but you can apply. Right. Now coming back to the equivalent qualifications, this direct marking which I have done, you know, this red marking I have been uh, showing right now. For electronics, it's not only that you should have a degree in electronics, right? You, if you have the degree in electronics and communications, electronics and instrumentations, electronic design and technology. Applied electronics, electronics and telecommunications, electronics and control engineering, you can apply. For mechanical, uh, either you should have degree in mechanical or if you have degree in industrial and production, mechanical production and tool engineering, production engineering, right? Production and production technology, manufacturing engineering, production and industrial, because for production guys, very less PSUs are there. So these are the PSU you can opt for that. You know, if you want to have a job in PSUs. Then again, manufacturing technologies, MT, then aerospace and aeronautical candidates can also apply for this mechanical post. For electrical, electrical candidates can apply. EC candidates can also apply. Electrical and instrumentation and control engineering. Three branches are applicable for this electrical post. For computer science, only computer science engineering students are applicable. For chemical, chemical engineering, chemical and electrochemical engineering, chemical technologies. Again, for finance, uh, those who qualified as CA or those who completed uh, or those who passed the final exam of CA, they can apply or, or they can have those who are having the postgraduate diploma in finance uh, discipline of two years, they can also apply for this finance post. Right. So I hope it's clear that, uh, you know, uh, regarding the equivalent and essential qualification. Apart from the essential qualification, those who are having equivalent qualification also. As mentioned in the box, you can also apply for the respective disciplines. Right. Now, so aggregate percentage of marks, if you have 60 percentage 
in BTEC for uh, OBC, Unreserved, and EWS, you can apply. If you have uh, secured the minimum 60 percentage aggregate overall, you can apply. For STSC, it is 55 percentage aggregate. Right. Now, the applicants who pursued the engineering degree after the completion of diploma must mention the diploma details in the application form. Those who have done diploma also, you know, they have to mention in the application form. That is the note number one. Note number two, the final year candidates cannot apply. Only passed out candidates can apply for this particular post, right? That thing also, uh, you can uh, take care of it, right? Coming back to age criteria, like for undeserved, we have for mechanical electronics, it is 27. For OBC, three years relaxation. For STSC, we have five years relaxations. Similarly, for all other engineering discipline, right? As you can see here, right? Coming back to important dates, are very very important. 21st of August. The online application is gonna start after uh, approximately two weeks. That is uh, 21st of August, right? And the closing will be done on 20th September. The rate of uh, exact date of CBT is yet to announce, but it will be happen in the month of December and January for sure. Either in the month of December or in the month of January, right? Exact date will be hosted in the company website. They will tell you uh, in the particularly what career website of BDM. Now, coming back to here, selection process. Selection process will compress, uh, compress of two things. One will be CVT plus interview. So there is a no requirement of uh, gate scorecard here. It's a non-gate uh, uh, recruitment where you have to go through the CVT and interview process. CVT will be there for two hour durations. It will be there for two hour duration and it will be of 150 marks. One question will consist of one max. Total 150 question will be there. Out of 150 question, 100 question will be there from the respective discipline, either from EC, those who are writing EC paper, 100 question will be on EC. Uh, 100 question, if you are writing mechanical, 100 question from the mechanical. If you are writing uh, paper of civil, 100 question from the civil, and 50 question from the general aptitude. Right? So these are the things uh, that is uh, very, very important for selection process. But not only here, the weightage for CBT is 85% uh, percentage and 15% percentage weightage is given for interview. So it's heavily depending on the CBT score uh, marks, right? And minimum qualifying marks for shortlisted for okay, interview candidates are 60%. You have to score 60 percentage marks in CBT for undeserved and AWS candidates. And 50% you have to score for STC and OVC candidates or PWD for the reserve post, which they have already mentioned in the particular uh, vacancy detail. The candidates need to square minimum qualifying marks in CBT to qualify for the subsequent stage of selection. The cutoff will be uh, decided based on taking the you know candidates for the further selection process, and they will be shortlisted. For 10 is to 1. That means for every one post, 10 student will be called in interview. Right? So 1 is to 10 is a selection ratio for calling uh, for the interview procedure. And there is a minimum mark 60 percentage. That means, uh, let's say 150, you have to score 90 marks. Of course, obviously, the 90 marks will be lesser than cutoff, but they have mentioned that. Again, for CBT 10 uh, centers, uh, not throughout the India, they have mentioned, they have just given the 10 centers, Bangalore, Bhopal, Bhuvaneswar, Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata, Mumbai, Trivandrum, Visakhapatnam. The candidates should opt for the test center that is nearest from their present address, right? If you have any nearest center uh, from this 10 center, you can opt for that and you can write the CBT. Coming back to application fee, application fee is uh, 500, right? For general EWS and EOBC, for STSC and and for other candidates, uh, you know PWD, they are exempted to pay the fees. They need not to pay any kind of fees, right? 
and of course some internal candidates which they have already mentioned in the bdl application uh, notifications right now coming back to here cutoff analysis that we will do So I am doing the cutoff analysis of BDL 2022 and here uh, I will be doing BDL 2021. So I will be sharing the paper also for BDL uh, 2022 and 2021 uh, in the link below this video. Uh, you can go through that. Okay. So just wait for a moment. See guys, so the number of vacancy, let me just tell you the number of vacancies. Then we can go for, uh, you know, the respective cutoff and all. So that we can correlate to this uh, 2023 vacancy. So in BDL, uh, EC candidates. For EC, the number of vacancies were, I'm talking about total, not talking about the respective categories. That is for electronics, 12 vacancies were there. For mechanical, the number of vacancies were, or again uh, okay I can just do analysis for two branch for BDL 2021 the total number of vacancies were okay here we can Okay, no doubt. The total number of vacancy for BDL, like uh, for electronics and for mechanical. For electronics uh, in 2021, there were total 12 posts allocated for this EC. And for mechanical, the total number of posts were 9. So I'm writing here BDL. 2023 which recently they have released so that we can uh, you know closely monitor what could be the cutoff and all and it will be very easy to predict this year cutoff also like uh, in 2023 we have the number of vacancy for EC and for mechanical let's say for EC the total, total number of vacancies are 15 of course, out of one, like out of 15, one vacancy allotted of PWD, PWD candidates, right? And for mechanical, the total number of vacancies is 12. So mechanical is a high vacancy, almost like a similar, but uh, as compared to previous year, one or two vacancies are higher. Now, coming to cutoff for EC, for 2022, the cutoff for EC was for unreserved. I'm writing here. The cutoff for electronics was 117 out of 150. And if I write for OBC, uh, the cutoff were same 117 out of 150. For mechanical, let's say mechanical, we have uh, 128. That was the cutoff. 128 was the cutoff for mechanical for the post of 10. Now coming to here, EC for unreserved again for OBC, the mechanical cutoff was for 2022 117 out of 150. It's the same as EC candidates for mechanical. One no, 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 it's for mechanical, it is 127. 127. Now for EC for 2021, like for OBC and for unreserved, for EC the uh, for unreserved candidates, the cutoff went around 125 out of 150, and for mechanical it was 127. Oh, sorry, for OBC. 
it went for 121 and for mechanical the cutoff was around 127 out of 150 and for obc it was 125 now the prediction for ec this year my prediction which i am doing right now for ec mechanical as other posts are quite low so more or less it will be uh, same only it doesn't matter but for here this year uh, because the number of candidates they may not or uh, no basically it, uh, totally the vacancy basically the cutoffs are depending on the number of applications also how many number of candidates are writing exam the number of candidates those who are going to write the exam will be lesser only this year as compared to the other previous year so the cutoff will go in the range of for mechanical it will be uh, 118 to 122 or maybe it can low uh, it can go uh, no or maybe we can keep it same out of 150 for ec like we can have um, 120 again for obc also we can write 120 and for here it will be same so this is our cutoff analysis uh, you can see the number of vacancies these are the vacancy detail right and again these are the vacancy detail based on the vacancy i have predicted the particularly cutoff right so you can apply for this particular post from 21st of august till 2020 uh, sorry uh, till 20th of september this year right so for any other uh, information regarding this examination if you want to prepare for this bdl exam you can contact on this particular number right you can just visit our website and you can go through all the detailing of uh, this particular notification and the detailed notification pdf will be uploaded on this particular website and will be shared below this uh, you know youtube uh, video particularly whatever the video will be posted below that you will find that uh, link for the uh, notification pdf right thank you all